Man notices something strange on side of road, then realizes it was moving, was moving. A Massachusetts man recently had his morning commute thrown for a loop when he noticed something on the side of the road. Around 7 a.m., in Seabrook, Massachusetts, the man saw a pile of debris or a mass of some sort, and stopped to get a closer look, closer look. Since a giant storm had ripped through the area the previous weekend, the man thought that the object he was seeing was most likely debris or a large rock of some sort. However, as he got closer, he realized that the object was alive and breathing. As the passerby approached the gray object, he was stunned to see that it was actually a baby seal that was in serious need of assistance. The seal more than likely came up with the extremely high flood tide around 2 a.m. As a result of this storm, Ashley Stokes, rescue manager at Seacoast Science Center, SSC, told the dodo. Once he was up to there, he likely realized pretty quickly that it was a more desirable spot than being battered by the high surf and stayed put. Unfortunately, he didn't realize that it was not a good spot for him to be in, to be in. The seal pup was just two months old, and in serious danger of getting hit by a car, if it wasn't for the person who stopped. The Good Samaritan called authorities for assistance, and the cops, along with the rescue team from SSC, arrived to escort the seal pup off the highway and into a parking lot. The rescue team observed the baby seal's behavior and knew that he wouldn't have survived on his own much longer. We were able to immediately determine that he was not himself when we first arrived on scene. Gray seal weanlings should be very aggressive when approached, Stokes explained. But this little one allowed us to get right beside him and move him into the kennel, with no fight at all. The exhausted seal collapsed once inside the kennel. The poor thing had taken quite the beating after getting tossed around in the sea. The rescuers took the seal to the National Marine Life Center where he was soon given the name Sako. Now, it was time for the medical team to get to work on bringing this little guy back to a healthy state. We quickly realized that his blood sugar was extremely low and he was critically dehydrated, Stokes said. Luckily, x-rays did not reveal any serious injuries, so the big priorities now are to get his blood sugar and hydration level back to normal, and then get him to start eating fish on his own again. After a couple of days in rehabilitation, Seiko has started to perk up and act like himself, a very good sign for his release in the future. Since news of his rescue, Seiko has garnered a lot of attention from around the world, turning him into a bit of an internet star. The National Marine Life Center says that he's flattered but just focused on recovery right now. Although Seiko has been all over the news recently, he hasn't let the fame get the best of him. Our gray seal weanling is still enjoying the simple things in life, like some much needed R and R, NMLC wrote on their Facebook page. We have been rehydrating him with oral as well as four fluids and he is more alert than when he first came to us. We are guardedly optimistic that he will continue improving. Although Seiko has a long way to go, we couldn't be happier about his rescue. Keep up with his progress on the NMLC Facebook page, and watch an adorable video of Sako's pool time in the video below. Please share this with your friends and family. Family.